Hi, I'm Rick Zanotti, and this is episode 14 of Captivating, the Adobe Captivate podcast. In this episode, we're going to talk about captions. That's how you get your text into Captivate. Now, Captivate 4 allows you to do inline text editing as well as editing through the captions. So it gives you a lot more power than you had in Captivate 3. Let's take a look at how you do this. OK, I've got a Captivate file open, and we want to add text to this first slide. So let me double click on the slide. And we add text by inserting a standard object and then a text caption. Now, in Captivate 3, you could only add text using the caption. Uh, same with Captivate 4, except Captivate 4 allows for inline editing, which I will show you in a minute. So let's uh, add our caption here. We'll say, welcome to our safety training course. And then we'll say, click anywhere to continue. And we'll say that looks pretty good. So let's say OK. And you notice it created our caption, but it's transparent. There's no box around it, which is OK in some cases. But in this case, I wanted a box around it. So we'll click here. And you notice here under caption type, it's transparent. Captivate does not have a caption that doesn't have a caption type. The transparent type allows you to have the text be viewable on the screen without any box around it. Now, in this case, we want the Adobe Blue caption. And you notice there's a lot of other captions we can choose from, actually quite a few. But we want the Adobe Blue, which is a light caption. And we want it pointing down. So we're going to choose this one. So I'll click OK again. Now we have a caption on the screen. This is exactly what we want. I can move the caption around. I can shorten it a little bit because it's pretty wide. And unfortunately, that made it a little smaller. Here we go. Well, let's say that's how we want it to look. And I notice, uh-oh, there's a problem in my caption. I have anywhere typed incorrectly. Well, now I can just double click on it, select it, Press the A key, and now that looks good without having to go back to the caption and do any kind of editing. Let's say I want to change safety training and make it a little bit larger. I can go up here, and now I can say, let's make it 24 point. And now we have a different thing. I could change the text color. I, I have all my controls here. I can bold it, make it italic, underline it. I can change the justification right there for that one paragraph or bring it right back to where it was. As soon as I click out of that, we're back to where we were. If I press F4 to run this, the caption comes up immediately. And I can press click to go to the next slide. And I'll escape. Now, you can change some of the options in a caption. So let's go into the, we have three tabs on the caption. You've got your text caption option. You've got your options, your audio, as well as your uh, position and size. Let's go to options. Now here's where we could actually name this caption if we want to use it later on for any other reason. I can say welcome caption for now. Uh, if I hit tab a couple of times. The caption will be on the screen right now for a specific time, which was three seconds. I want to leave this on for the rest of the slide, or I could also leave it on for the rest of the project, which I don't want. So we'll say rest of slide. And then we want it to appear after one second. And I only want a fade in only. I have several choices here. I can do a fade in and out, a fade in only, a fade out only, or no transition. In this case, we want fade in only. And the fade-in only is going to be about a half second fade-in. I'll press Tab again, and we'll hit OK. If I hit F4 now, the caption comes in about a second into it, and then stays on until we finish our click. Now if I escape out of that, 
So that's the basic properties of a caption. Now let's go back into the caption. Under audio, here we could actually import or record audio right into this caption. Uh, and then we can also change the size position. We can lock and, and make everything uh, proportional as far as uh, our sizing. Then going back here to the main screen, these are the caption bubbles that we have for this particular caption. You can change all of your fonts here, size. You can change your foreground and background colors. This is for the foreground, and that's for your background. Uh, you can also add a variable. Now, Captivate allows you to add a variable here. Let's say I have my cursor there. I'll click there. And it allows me to say, what do I want? Do I want a user variable, or do I want a system variable? Let's say I want a system variable, and I want to know what version of Captivate I'm running. And I want that to be, let's say, only five or six characters wide. Okay? I'll say OK. So now that shows up as a variable sign. When you see double dollar, okay, so that tells us this is the Captivate version. Anything you see with double dollars tells you that a variable value is in between it. If I say OK right now, and I run F4 again, You'll notice now that it says v4.0.0. So I'm running Captivate version 4.0.0. Now those variables can be used for inputting names, personalizing your course, taking information from your LMS. You can do quite a bit with that, and we'll get into that later in a future podcast. And that's it for captions. For Captivating, I'm Rick Zanotti. Thanks for watching and subscribing.